Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of anencephaly. Tell me in the comment section below whether you pronounce anencephaly or anencephaly. A young rabbit patient came with 6 months of amenorrhea and no fetal movement for 3 days. She had no history of antenatal checkup. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the profile view that is the sagittal view of the fetal head and you can see there is no calvarium above the fetal orbit. The brain surface appears irregular indicating area cerebrovasculosa and you can see the eyes are quite proptotic coming out from the fetal orbit indicating shallow orbits secondary to cranial bony malformation. Now when you come to the fetal chest and abdomen you can see no cardiac activity. So this is actually a dead fetus. And if you look at around, at this age, the amniotic fluid looks quite increased. It's a dead fetus and should have oligohydramnios, whereas here we can see it's having increased amount of fluid that is polyhydramnios, which is common in neural tip defects due to poor swallowing. So this is actually a case of dead fetus due to anencephaly. Now here's the picture of this fetal head in profile view and you can see the bony calvarium ends at the level of orbit. The cranial vault is absent here. The remaining brain tissue appears irregular, slightly levulated. This is called the area cerebrovasculosa. Here's the 3D image of this fetus and you can see above the level of orbit there are irregular lobulated structures indicating the remaining neural tissue. Here is another poor quality 3D picture and you can see the irregular remaining brain tissue here. So in summary, we couldn't see any fetal cardiac pulsation. There was absence of cranial vault. Neural tissue above the orbit was eroded. The remaining surface appeared irregular due to area cerebrovasculosa. The eyes were proptotic and amniotic fluid was mildly increased. So this is a case of dead fetus due to anencephaly. Now the take home message. Irregular lobulated head with a small CRL in first trimester should always be assessed further with transvaginal sonography to exclude anencephaly. This is the first feature you will get in early pregnancy. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.